This video is sponsored by GMB North America. Your success is our future. Visit gmb.net to learn more. I have two questions you may not think are even related when it comes to wheel bearings, but they actually are. The first question, what are the signs a wheel bearing has been damaged by a pothole? And number two, how do I inspect a seal on a wheel bearing hub unit? To answer the first question, well, when a bearing hits a pothole, it actually causes a small indentation to one of the races. Over time, that small indentation causes the grease to have turbulence over that area. This is what's known as a Brunelling mark. It's where something very hard makes a mark in a race over time as the bearings go over it. When it turns up the grease, also that mark can become larger and larger. So over time, this causes noise. This could be three days, three weeks, or even three months down the road, depending on the vehicle. But the leading symptom, it's going to be the noise coming from the wheel bearing. There may be no detectable change in play or play in any which direction of the wheel, but it's going to be very, very noisy. As for the second question about how to inspect a seal on a hub unit, the most important thing to remember is that there should be no leaking grease on the seal, especially on a modern hub unit. That may be a Gen 1, 2, or 3. If grease is leaking, it may mean that the seal has been damaged or broken. And if grease leaks out due to excessive heat caused by brunelling inside of the bearing, it's a sign that the bearing has failed internally. So anytime you see any leaks, or anytime you're installing a wheel bearing, and the seal becomes dislodged from the outer race, the hub unit or the wheel bearing needs to be replaced. My name's Joe Keen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.